Lisa Jam! Lisa who? Lisa Jam! Lisa who? Lisa Jam! I am so excited. We've been working on this for such a long time. We came up with this movie, you know, as the kind of movie we wish we had growing up, coming up. Everyone we've shared this movie with has been screaming with laughter, been crying. And after the long pandemic, just being able to share this amazing experience with other people has been tremendous. You know, we've been friends for such a long time and we're all writers and we would just like go out to dinner and like, you know, just share like these ridiculous stories about like our friends and their dating and their messy lives. And we thought, you know what, we're professional writers. Let's go out and like, let's write the kind of movie that we wish we had. And so that's where it all came from. You know, it's all about the chemistry and selling that friendship on screen. Ashley Park, Sherry Cola, Steph Shu, Sabrina Wu. Um, Ashley, like some of them have already been stars. You know, Ashley Park from Emily in Paris. You are not ready to see her in this role. Like heartbreaking, like emotional, but like so freaking funny. And the rest of them are a riot. Any like restaurant we went out to, we were shutting that place down. There may have been noise complaints. Like the world is not ready to see the stars that they are. You know, we first set out to write a movie that was like going to be insanely entertaining to blow the roof off the place. But at its heart, it's a story about belonging. And it's not just about the Asian American experience. It's really for anyone who has felt like they did not quite belong, whether it's because of their sexuality, their gender, their race, their ethnic background. You know, it's just like it's, the world did not feel like it was there for you. This story is about finding your people and that once you have your people, you know your home. Oh, what a celebration for the community and for all for comedies. You know, this film is funny 
first and we just happen to be Asian. These cultural specifics on the big screen are so special to us and I can't wait for everyone to just be mind blown, honestly, because this is gonna drop every jaw in the audience. Oh, you need that rowdiness. You gotta get a group of friends. You gotta get maybe tipsy beforehand because you're gonna have the best time in those seats. You might not even stay in the seat. You know, you might have to take a lap after some of the scenes. So my character is named Lolo and she's unapologetic. She's very in your face. She says what people are thinking, uh, which can get her in trouble, but she has so much heart. You know, I think with Lolo, something that I can relate to is, is just pri prioritizing being a good friend. You know, so I think Lolo is just, you know, I, I think everyone sees themselves in Lolo for sure. The chemistry on screen is genuine. We are obsessed with each other. You'll see when we do press, we can't stop touching each other. Um, just hand on thigh, hand on shoulder, holding hands. Um, we're just, just trying to start rumors. Um, but, you know, I think it was just so organic because we were doing something so special for the first time together, uh, which is why, you know, we felt that uh, through the journey. On paper, it was already perfect, but there was so much trust between us and, you know, the creators and the director, Adele Lim, um, and the producers. Uh, there was so much trust to play around, you know, and find magic in the heat of the moment. So that was really cool. Definitely a lot of improvising. It's so heartfelt. You know, it shows that we have range. How lucky are we to play characters that, you know, have a beginning and an end. You know, we evolve throughout the 92 minutes that you see us up there. Um, to play such multi-dimensional characters is so rare for people, you know, in my skin. Ah! Start this rumor. Uh, that, you know, the <laughs> fact that I'm a queer, immigrant, Chinese-American woman, it's such a refreshing feeling, you know, to be able to, you know, express all these layers on the screen. Oh gosh, you know what's really fun is like when when a lot of like hard work and like um, anticipation has come up to a moment, um, the climax of it feels very grounded and really like real and surreal at the same time. I'm really grateful that I get to do it with this company of actors and team and like it just, I think we're just really excited to share something that we made with genuine joy and love and, um, and, and share it with people. Yeah, Audrey, you know, Audrey Sullivan is has been an honor to play and I feel like there are certain roles that find you in your life exactly when you need them. And it was my first time playing the protagonist in a story and she really feels like uh, she's a character that feels like she has it all together and understands how to navigate this world and this community, this industry that um, is has been built for and by people who don't look like her. And um, she doesn't understand that there's something missing in her own identity until she goes on to this joy ride and I think it's it's been like a true like honor to like play this character who has such um, nuance and depth and hilarity and she I think she finds a part of herself that she didn't even know that she needed to look for yeah, I think that um, the, the reason that this script touched me in the very beginning was I read it, I, I think I anticipated having like 10 minutes to read the script when I first saw it. I have never read a script so fast, I've never laughed so much and I cried so much while reading it and I felt that way every time, every iteration of it and I think that the best kind of comedy opens up people's hearts to like be, being able to receive a different conversation or a connection to the heart and meaning of a character and I think that that, that's been the biggest honors, especially Audrey having um, just as much heart and um, meaning and impact in terms of her own life as you would expect the jokes and the hilarity. What I strive for is in any project, finding a lifer, which is like a friend for life, someone who really understands you and um, cheerleads who you are now and who you will be and who you have been. And I can't, like truly, every single person I've interacted with in this film, all my cast members are true lifers. And I think that um, we are, we're still trying to process it too, but it, it, it's very meaningful knowing what incredible people they are and, what hardworking artists they are and knowing that we're doing this together. 
I mean, Teresha Chow and uh, Cherry Chava Prabhu Dumong. Um, I think what I love about this film so much is it is there are iconic moments that you've never seen before and you never imagined, but truly such smart, witty humor that comes from like intention and like these are two of the smartest writers I know in the industry and to, to be able to support them getting this kind of shot and opportunity is like truly the honor of a lifetime. I think Seth and his company Poor Gray coming on board, Josh Fagan was on set every day, Was this was his baby, he really believed in this, James Weaver, Evan. Um, to honestly, to, I've never worked with such gracious, smart, hilarious, kind, white, straight males in the industry. Um, I think that they were my first examples of like, wow, this is what allyship and champion, championing other people look like. And I'm so happy that we this movie was uh, created by them and we get to be in partnership with them. Um, when I was growing up in Michigan, like I spent so much time on like Asian YouTube, like, and I spent so much time learning how to dance, and like the Jabberwockies were this, like they were just like heroes to me, and um, like a lot of like the popping and like hip hop happening with like Asian Americans and like in LA and stuff. I don't know. It was just like I could tap into this world that was like cool and and dance and self-express in a way that you know I felt a little limited in Michigan by yeah. I am really excited because I love the cast and the crew and I'm so I want all the success in the world for them and then on a personal level I'm obviously terrified but yeah uh, they are a sex icon I will continue to say that in front of every journalist but apart from that they're um, they're a person who has always been true to themselves is like unafraid to be unique um, and is looking for people who really get them and accept them for who they are and is like looking for connection and community and loves K-pop. They love K-pop. I mean, I think it was clear as they were trying to cast the project, the group chemistry is obviously so, so important for a comedy like this. And so I think right out the gate when they casted us, we had a natural chemistry. But then we went through, you know, we would go out and almost get kicked out at every restaurant because we would eat like crazy and talk like crazy. and. Uh, and just like there is like trauma bonding as you are filming a movie and so I just think like as we were getting to know each other and spending more and more time together the writers were hanging out with us that group dynamic started to bleed into the characters and into the filming well if you know how to have fun you would know that you should go see this with your friends it's yeah <laughs> Oh my God, that's exactly what it is. This is the product of years, literal years of really, really hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. And to see it all culminate into a night where people are having a great time uh, is, is amazing. We were just having fun. You know, we, along with Adele, we were at our house. We were always just having dinners and drinks. And we were thinking, it'd be really fun to write a movie together. And just on a lark, we were like, oh, you know what? Let's just put on some cards. It'd be really fun to do this. And then uh, Cherry and I actually went and wrote the script, which it was just fun at first. We never thought anyone would actually make it. It was amazing. Like, it kind of happened in baby steps. They were kind of like, yeah, no, we're probably going to green light it. But it's not official yet, but you know what I mean? Like, do some interviews, maybe check out some heads of department. Let's see, because we were also producers on the movie, so we were in all that, all that sort of stuff together. So it was just baby steps along the way. And then, yeah, there was a day when there was an officially, we were doing this. And that, that was awesome. Like, we kind of knew the phone call was coming. And I remember picking the phone and be like, is this it? Yeah, and Point Grey was all, was so supportive of us. They wanted us to be there on set the entire time and part of the entire process. Uh, and they just know our rated comedies. They were really supportive of us and making sure our vision was told. This is our brand. Our brand is stupid. But the brand wouldn't be anything without these incredible, incredible actors who just brought it all to life. They made it funny but also grounded and emotional. And it's, it's all the credit to them. All the credit to them. 
again, we wrote it because we were like, we want to have fun, we want to make a comedy, but at the same time, it's like, there are these lessons of identity that are like Trojan horse in between all the insane, raunchy stuff. And so I think that's the greatest thing that people can take away from this movie, what they, what they want, but also hopefully still have a fun time. The fact that people are laughing during the movie, but then also crying during some movie, you know, some moments in the movie, has has been very important to us. Like sort of the emotional core, that spine, the story part of the movie was something that was there from the beginning and that we kept through all the way to the end. And yes, we piled a bunch of jokes on top of it, but the fact that it's it is hitting people here when they come out of it is has been an awesome thing to see. Uh, it's uh, going to be very funny. Uh, it's it's going to be exciting. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people are going to walk away with a lot of laughs, and I think the world needs some laughs right now. So this is the time, yeah, for sure. Uh, I play a character named Arvind, and uh, he's enjoying the perks and privileges of being a basketball player. Um, his partner in crime is Kenny, Chris Pang's character, and uh, we have a lot of raunchy scenes in that film. And uh, unfortunately for them, Ashley Park's character Audrey is more trouble than they bargained for. So yeah, it's going to be funny. Everyone is so talented, uh, everyone is a professional, everyone is a great collabor collaborator and uh, for me it was a learning experience um, and when you're shooting very intimate scenes uh, to feel comfortable, especially pushing the envelope, uh, they made me feel comfortable and I think there was a lot of chemistry and the chemistry speaks for itself. It just crosses boundaries, you know what I mean? This is a very fun, disruptive, uh, Hollywood movie. It's like we're back in, you know, Hollywood motion picture days where, you know, big premieres, big stars, new stars. And, you know, I'm just happy to be a part of it because it just shows that we're taking the right steps forward, you know, and who are we trusting as our creatives. And, you know, for, you know, uh, Adele, what she did and, you know, being one of the, the best directors out there, I'm just happy to be a part of the, the whole project. You know, to just show my love, you know, and, and, you know, anytime it's like something that's pioneering, it's just important, I feel, for me to be a part of it in this humbling experience. It's exciting, it's raunchy, it's quirky, it, 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 it gives you all the feels you need to come into the summer and feel good. That's what we want. We want people to be on a certain, you know, vibration and, and, and good spirits. And I think this is one of those movies that just allow you to walk in and let your guard down and have fun. I'm so excited to see this movie. Um, the first time I sat down in a scene with Ashley and Sherry was uh, quite a thrill. So I'm really excited. They're the funniest girls I've seen in a very long time. Um, I play the mom of Ashley's character, so we adopted her from China when she was a baby, and we're just kind of very loving, sweet uh, parents that have adored her, but you know, she needs to go. She's gotta go find her roots. You know, I worked on Bridesmaids. I co-wrote Bridesmaids. And um, the first time we sat down with our cast um, was kind of an electric feeling, um, just seeing them work together. And I remember telling my friend when I worked my first day with Ashley and Sherry that I thought, I haven't seen somebody with this kind of chemistry since I first saw, you know, the Bridesmaids cast. And um, so that was like really exciting. And um, I'm blown away by them, just truly. Everybody can kind of relate to that feeling of not knowing where you belong or where you fit and feeling like there's a missing piece somewhere, whether it's the, the specifics of this story or, you know, a, a other people's personal stories and, um, and trying to find where you fit. And that's what really resonated with me with this story. Probably the most anticipated film I've been involved with in a long time. So many people come up to me after seeing the trailer and they're like, oh my God, I can't wait to see that movie. And having seen it at South by Southwest and had that just such an amazing response, uh, it was moving. I mean, it was it was hilarious and, and touching and sad. And, and I was just ve felt very honored and lucky to be part of it. I play Ashley's uh, adopted father, um, and I'm super excited for her to go on this journey to try to find her birth mother. Oh, I mean, we just, we got to sit there and, uh, and watch them all improv, like, you know, I mean, the, that opening scene we did, 
like a hundred different alts. I mean, it was just, it was a joy to sit there and watch them play and have so much fun and, uh, and come up with such brilliant material and, you know, and then they all edit it together and it's a really amazing movie. I'm really proud of it. Expected to laugh, but didn't expect to get so moved by it. It's really a touching film and, you know, it's, you know, this, we talk about representation in this world and you don't get to see movies like this and it's about time. It's about time, that's all I gotta say. And hopefully everybody goes to the theater and sees it because they will love it. They will have an amazing, amazing time. It's a great ride. And um, yeah, I'm excited for everyone to be able to see it. I mean, it just was like an immediate thing that everyone in my company, me, Seth, James, and Josh, were all very attracted to. It felt like our kind of movie, but like from a totally different set of voices. And it had like like bridesmaid super bad kind of vibe, so it was a no brainer that we wanted to do this. I mean, uh, I mean, the writing like a lot of the time we have to like hold people's hands in the writing process and like work with them all the time, and like that wasn't the case. Like, I mean, I feel like it's just one of those like magic, fortunate like everything went right kind of things where they just you know each one of them has to be like a pillar that like supports the movie in their own way with their own unique characters, and they just did it. Like they're just all completely different from the other characters and like yeah like it was also the type of thing like there weren't like debates between like oh, is it her or her for this role like it was just, like we found that one we found that one we found that one I mean I definitely like of all the movies we've worked on in the last few years this is a good in theater one because you get to like really laugh hysterically with other people and like the bigger crazier moments like when you're home alone it's just not the same laughing hysterically on a couch alone most people, including myself, like every time I cry at the end because it's just got a lot of the, the themes and messages about identity and like belonging are like very universal and they, they land it, you know, you're laughing your ass off, it's gross, it's crazy, it's funny, it's outrageous, but in the end it's really emotional and surprising. Yeah.